Good afternoon. My name is Chong Chao, and I'm a general manager of Daddy Proc. Thank you for coming to this presentation. Today, I will be talking about UFS, SATA SSD, EMMC, what are the differences? What, what is the advantage of UFS memory? And uh, as a Daddy Proc, what do we do? What, what kind of solution do we offer for UFS programming? Okay, so we have EMMC, which is low, uh, small form factor, which is also very low power consumption. We have SATA SSD, which offers very high speed performance. UFS combines the benefits of both. And I will talk more about UFS later. Let me talk about data proc in a few minutes. So what do we do? Daddy Prog started, started in 2005. It introduced our engineering programmer in the beginning. Later on, we deliver universal gun programmer, which supports different kinds of flash memories and the microcontrollers. And then we deliver EMMC programmer. Two years ago, Daddy Prog delivered the world's first UFS programmer. And this year, we will deliver an all-in-one programmer, which supports all microcontrollers, flash memories, EMMC, and also UFS memories. And in addition, we will also deliver a VME duplicator. So what is UFS? UFS stands for Universal Flash Storage. The, the, the standard is maintained by JTEC. JTEC borrows the command set from SCSI, and it also uses MIPI standards. MIPI uses Unipro and the M5, which allows a better power consumption, and it's designed particularly for mobile computing. So UFS, the speed of UFS, can go up to 600 megabytes per second, and that is only for with the one single lane. With the two lanes, the speed can go up to 1,200 megabytes per second. And this is a UFS 2.0 and 2.1 spec. UFS 3.0 spec, which some, some companies are already working on, the, spec, the speed can go up to 3 gigabytes per second, and this is already faster than uh, uh, the, the very similar to PCIe speed already. From this slide, you can see that uh, UFS speed, uh, UFS 2.0 with uh, two lanes, the performance is uh, 1,200 megabytes per second. It's faster than SATA 3.0, which is 300, uh, 600 megabytes per second. It's faster than EMMC 5.1 which is uh, 400 megabytes per second. UFS offer better power, power efficiency than SATA and the EMMC. UFS has better scalability than EMMC. UFS, because of because borrow, because using SCSI command set, US, UFS is able to, to do Q command. That means it is able to run multiple commands in the same time, while EMMC can only run one, one command at one time. This allows UFS for better random read and write performance. So in this slide, it explains more why UFS is better than EMMC. EMMC uses have duplicates mode, while UFS use full duplex mode. Full duplicates means that UFS is able to do read and write in the same time. It's like uh, talking on the phone, you can talk and listen in the same time. And EMMC is a uh, half duplex, so you cannot read and write in the same time. It's like using walkie talkie, you cannot listen and talk in the same time.
So talking about applications, which uh, uh, EMMC and the SATA SSD and the UFS, as you can see on the top, uh, the Intel-based platforms, they are more focused on the performance. So in the beginning, in, 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 in 2014, 2016, you will see some SATA SSD, SATA interface uh, applications. And later on, we see more NVMe applications, which is, PC, which is a PCI interface. On the ARM-based system, ARM tablet and uh, mobile phones, before we see phones with uh, EMMC memories, now we see all the phones are switching to UFS. And we even see that uh, some SSD applications start to use UFS. A few examples of uh, what uh, uh, some applications are, uh, are either already producing or start to design in UFS memory. This includes the autonom autonomous car, ADAS, drone, and the 3D camera. These are the few examples which are using or start to design in UFS memories. So what do, what, what do we do and what do we have for UFS, UFS memories for programming, um, programming product? As you can see in the slides, we have engineering programmer which allows users to read and write the data from one single chip with the, with the, with the PC. We have a gun programmer which allows you to duplicate from one single chip to eight chips in the same time. And uh, we also allow one PC to control multiple, com multiple programmers so that you can program 48 or 96 chips in the same time. And one example about our new product E, new product E now is the, 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 the uh, popular product for the data recovery market. Additionally, DataProg offers automation machine. This automation, automation machine allows you to program 48 chips in the same time. And in two quarters from now, the same machine will allow you to program 96 UFS chips in the same time. Because of the high density, either, either EMMC or UFS, in, for the best efficiency, you need, uh, you need a lot of chips to program at the same time for better efficiency. And the same, this machine can work, with, can work up to 2,500 to 3,000 units per hour. So our programmer delivers all the read and write requirements specified by JTEC Association. And the performance can work up to 180 megabyte per second. And this is a FPGA-based solution. DataProc took uh, one step further. We worked with uh, a design house to deliver an ASIC-based bridge chip bridging between USB 3.0 and the UFS. This product is already available in the market. And it's using TSMC 55 nanometer process. And the same chip has already tested with uh, different uh, with, uh, UFS chips from different brands and also UFS card. The customer can use this chip uh, to design a product, uh, to design UFS card reader, UFS programmer, or to design in to their embedded system, which has US, USB 3.0 interface, but does not have US, uh, UFS interface. But in the same time, they want to utilize the benefits of UFS memories. OK. So the message to you all for today is that uh, UFS memory has its great feature because of its small form factor, good power efficiency, and the scalability. And the DataProg, as a programming maker, we are ready to give the total solution. 
Thank you very much.